How are you going to master keeping calm? That's what the meme says. One of the best lessons in life is learning how to keep calm. Uh, I'm not sure it's a wise teaching. When I say I'm not sure, I'm pretty much saying it's not a wise teaching. Keeping calm. Um, there's a lot of things that are so-called, you know, spiritual. Spiritual, being spiritual is being able to stay calm. Grace under pressure, for example. Um, let's go to the animal kingdom for an example. Now, if you see a pond full of ducks at mating time, two male ducks come at each other and they get into a bit of a brawl. And so then what happens after they've had their little altercation, they both go off in separate directions and they um, flap their wings a little bit. What does it mean? Well, what it means is the excess energy that is residual from the altercation of what from the two males meeting and fighting, they flap the wings to get rid of that energy. So if you use nature as an example, you are supposed to allow the energy to flow through you. If you suppress the energy, where is it going? It's going into your nervous system. Suppressed energy. Suppressed, especially if it's emotional energy. It's going into your nervous system. And you're overloading your nervous system and you don't feel well. Because you've suppressed the urge to shout or something. If you do this for a great long time... You know, they say people that are very angry and they suppress their anger for a very long time get cancer. Look up Louise Hay to get that information. You Can Heal Your Life is her book. So clearly, if you follow Louise Hay in the example of the two male ducks fighting, you are not supposed to suppress emotions. If they're coming up, you're supposed to let them out. If you're a, a, an actor and you're playing the part of a hysterical person, I'm thinking of Seinfeld, I'm thinking of George Costanza's parents. Are they calm? So if you're an actor and you're playing the part of people who are neurotic like George Costanza's parents uh, it's going to be natural for them to have emotional outbursts. It's part of their character. So, I mean, are you trying to play the part of the Dalai Lama? You want to be the Dalai Lama and be forever calm and peaceful? No! You're, you aren't the Dalai Lama is the whole point of the matter. You're not the Dalai Lama. There is one Dalai Lama on the planet and I'm sorry, you're not it. So, it's not necessary, it's not required, and it's just plain stupid to emulate the, da the Dalai Lama. Unless you're Keanu Reeves and you're playing the Dalai Lama in a new movie from Hollywood. 
So, I mean, is it really a good idea to be calm all the time? If you ask a psychiatrist, the psychiatrist is going to say, I mean, you come into his office and you're very calm and peaceful all the time. The psychiatrist quite often will mark you down as being flat affect. In other words, you have no emotions. The famous character with no emotions is Mr. Spock from Star Trek, from Planet Vulcan, where they suppress their emotions. I'm sorry, but if you, even when you watch Star Trek, plenty of times Mr. Spock shows emotions. I took a course from the hooded sage Chris Krepsik, and he also said, show no emotion. But if you really want to know how to let most emotions go, you're going to have to spend a lot more time meditating. There's no shortcut, because if you're reading people's books or watching videos on how to be calm, it's all training for your monkey mind. And your monkey mind is going to be doing all the suppression of all of the emotional energies that is coming up. You're training your mind to get very busy suppressing things. It's almost like people in Las Vegas playing poker. And poker players are famous for having tells. In other words, they've got a, a full house and they get a little twitch here. It's a psychological thing and they're trying to suppress the energies are micro, what do they call them, micro, micro gestures or something. It's something the FBI looks at. That if they're interviewing you, they'll film you and play back the film in slow motion when they ask you a question and they look for micro expression. Micro expressions, I think it's called. The whole point is Keeping calm all the time as a spiritual practice is a stupid idea. It's something from the monkey mind. Meditate a lot. Always a good advice. I do. Do I get emotional? Oh, sometimes I'll go into a screaming. Sometimes I'll go into a screaming and then afterwards my whole body will be shaking because I've got so much energy. Does that mean that I'm not an advanced meditator? I need to meditate some more? No. I have a very quiet mind. But when these things arise in mind... It's because the Divine Director has uh, called on this particular body to act like loud. The question is, are there times when you can feel an enormous amount of emotional, mental energy come to the surface where you can uh, let it go without acting on it? Yes. Yes. Especially if you are in a meditation. 
Uh, it's much more difficult to do that when you're among other people. But if you've got private time by yourself and you're meditating, it's your time to meditate, and you feel this enormous amount of mental, emotional energy to come up, uh, yes, quite often, you can, well, pretty much all the time, you can watch it come up and watch it go. Does that mean that you still need to become a more expert meditator so that when you're with people, these things can come and go? Um, I'm not going to keep going down this pathway. Because the reason that there are multiple multiplicity of humans on the planet is not so that we're all going to be the Dalai Lama... Is so that we can have relationships with one another. And a lot of growth comes about by us expressing our mental and emotional upsets. In the end, what I want the final takeaway of this talk to be is your job is not to become a statue that never feels any emotion upset. Your job is to be authentic, which means you have to be present in the present moment, every moment, not focused about the future and not uh, reconsidering the past. Your job is to be here now. It's not a new teaching. Ram Das came up with with that a long time ago, and he got it from other people way before him. Be present in the present moment. Be authentic. Don't try to emulate the Dalai Lama. 